Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, When Tay Talk. I am Tay, and I am here for another segment of Here We Go With The Bullshit. Okay? Here we go with the bullshit. Y'all, everything on the channel is alleged and in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Okay? Please like this video. Like the video when you bring yes in the premiere. Hit the like button. Okay? And please... <clears throat> Subscribe to the channel, okay? Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that you know every time me and the cookie uploads a video. She's so happy. Look at her. And tell them to subscribe, cookie. I tell them to subscribe. You get this damn hair off my face. She's cussing. Say hi, Cookie. Cookie, you're so cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, and also share the video with family, friends, enemies, frenemies, cookie cutters at this point. Okay? So, y'all, let's get into this mess because we got two things on the docket today. We got Mel from the begin, okay? Mel been that girl, okay, Slaw? And then we got, <clears throat> I don't even know what to call them. Peggy and Betty. <sighs> they just won't stop. <laughs> But it's okay. We'll talk about them like a dog in a minute, okay? So I was sent this article um, from one of the subbies. Thank you for the article. <clears throat> and y'all, this article was posted by MCR Magazine. It's uh, Magic City Radar. It's a blog magazine. This was in February 2017. They did a spread on Melody S. Holt. Okay. So, um, this is just them asking her questions and then her responding in the article. So I want to read a couple of things in here because a couple of things is very important to show like why the reason why Mel do some of the things she do today, why she is who she is today. Okay. So the first one was, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? Educational background. How did you establish your business? So Mel replies, I am a native of a very, very small, oh, small town, Brundridge, Alabama. Growing up in such a small community has its perks, though. I believe that most of you... Most of who I am today is due to the nurturing, loving, and overall family feel that you get from a small town. Everybody literally knows everybody. When I graduated from Pike County High School in 2004, I began my college career um, that summer at Alabama A&M University. In 2007, I graduated summa cum laude with a degree in secondary education slash English slash a language arts. That's why you could never go toe to toe with Mel in that mouth. Okay, people? Listen to it now. My now husband, Hotel, Slaw Tail, but she called him by his regular name, Martel, proposed to me the day I graduated and we were married July of 2008. Because we both were in education, we realized... Y'all both was in education? For the life of me, I don't know how Martel was in education. So was it physical ed or special ed? And he was not just a student, he was a client? Uh, the, the damn president. Because I don't know how somebody in education. Mel, you must have passed his classes for him. Did you make him pay for them classes? He probably would have had her borrow the money. He borrowed money from her just to pay her ass for the classes. Just for her to cheat for him. 
I don't know. I digress. We were we quickly re um we realized quickly that the lifestyle and level of success we desired to live could not be accomplished on such a small salaries. So we started both a lawn and cleaning business, getting out and advertising and soliciting after school and on the weekends proved to be a very a, to be a huge success for us because before we knew it we had over 50 residential contracts and five commercial contracts. They was doing a thing, okay? Never afraid of a challenge. It is no surprise that eventually I launched full force into our company, Holt & Holt Enterprise. With no prior business classes or training as CEO by the age of 28, I had grown the company to a million dollar business and by 30, a multi-million dollar business from the ground up, strictly due to hard work, dedication, and a determination to not fail. Long days and late nights, miss family vacations and enjoying the things typically typical 20 year olds do was all a part of the sacrifice to see our company grow. Now, I say, since her and Martell were still married at this time, doing business, the business had already been established and everything, I'm wondering why they didn't ask Martell to do a spread in this magazine. Since he built her and everything. Remember that? You retired her from teaching. Why they didn't ask your ass? Or did they ask him and when they asked the first question, he just did a cookie on them. Name, sir. What do y'all think? And then this part about her town being very, very, very small. Sometimes people from small towns and when they get into like bigger situations, like when they go off to college, especially uh, a college such as A&M, It's easy for people to use them because they're pretty much heartfelt because if it was somebody in a town that was bad, they knew who they were. If it was the rest of the people, they all knew each other. They were all cool. You know, they all helped each other and things like that. So, like I said, if it was a bad seed in the, in the, in the town, they all know who that person was, who to watch out for, not to deal with them and all of that kind of stuff. When you get into bigger populations, it's harder for you to sift out those things, especially when you don't have the rest of the people in a town to tell you like, this month ain't it, okay? You in the clouds. But that's called having a good, genuine heart. You know? Um, and people, you know, you're easy for people to take advantage of. And I feel like that's what, you know, that's why she's so, um, easy going and so eager to help people and so willing to help people. That's what people from small towns do. And especially, like I said, people with good hearts, the way her mother them is, like, it doesn't look like they were struggling or anything like that. And when... You are raised, um, not with a silver spoon, but when you were raised with things, you don't care about that type of stuff. You know, you don't, you don't care to help nobody with this because it is what it is. You helping somebody. If you got it, you gonna help them with it. You know, you gonna help them. And you, you're not thinking like, oh, they just asked me that because they want to use me. You carefree about things like that. Those type of things, you feel like that's that's what you're supposed to do. 
But everybody don't think like that. And sometimes when people grow up in poor environments, they get into like a doggy dog mentality. So they trying to get everything they can from whoever they can, however many means they can. Sometime, okay? Because some people that grow up in, you know, um, humble beginnings, they're not in a doggy dog situation. I mean, uh, mind state, but some of them are, okay? And I don't know how they can spot vulnerable people, but they spot them out of nowhere. With good hearts and stuff, they always scamming somebody. Or trying to get down and get over on somebody. I don't know. But yeah, I, I feel like that, you know, that contributed, like she said, to how she is today. And, and we see that she's still like that now. Even when people burn her, she gives them other chances. When new people come around, she try to help them. She try to help them. And again, when you do stuff with good intentions... If the person do you bad, that's on them. That's them and their blessing because you fucked up a good thing. And now you won't ever be able to go back to that person for anything else. So you messed yourself up because that person has a kind, giving heart. They would have given you anything. So you messed that up. You blocked your own blessing. If I know I did it from the heart. It's, it's, I'm going to get my blessings, no matter what what you what your intentions were, okay? So this other section, a question was, what are some of the latest projects you're working on? I won't read that. Um, but, you know, she's talking about the different custom homes that they um, build, the Hope Custom Homes. That, she was, that was when she was launching another new business endeavor, and that was the Hope um, Custom Homes. She said they had expanded their um, company to do projects to cover Arkansas, Virginia, and Florida. Um, they were HUD certified. Um, all this, she said, while raising three children under the age of six. This last one is... It's not her last one, but it's the question I want to read the answers to. Community involvement is everything. Tell us about your passion for working in the community. My passion for working um, for community is has been evident since I was very, a very young child. I was always the student who was involved in every organization the school offered, typically holding a leadership pro, uh, position. See, now this right here again... She said this before. She likes to keep her hand in many pots. When you make those connections and network around, people going to remember that and they're going to want to use you, especially when you have a good reputation. Okay? Typically holding the um, leadership um, position from singing the national anthem at school events or performing at school plays and programs Using my talents and gifts to uplift others has always been something I enjoyed. Since moving to Huntsville, I have transferred that same desire to work in the community here. I am involved in several local organizations, including the Chamber of Commerce, um, the Women's Business Council, and advisor to the Alabama A&M um, University Business and Public Affairs. And I think this was maybe a year after they met T um, Tisha now and Marceau now. Because I think they said they met them in 2016 or was it 13? Put it in the chat. Um, I also enjoy mentoring other young entrepreneurs and volunteering time and donating funds to assist other organizations with their um, goals and outreach efforts. The fact of the matter is, in order to improve the lives of people in your community, we have to ha um, work together. It's a joint effort. I am glad to know that I am a part of the change that is taking place. And what 
what ha even since this show has come on right now Huntsville is the top city in the US for growth like that population is coming they are coming to Huntsville that's why I don't understand why it's so hard to sell LaBear's house so they might have been right about Chris maybe not you know going full throttle um, not, not Chris house, um, not Chris, um, not LaBeric house, but I don't understand why that house is taking so long to sell either. But the house that Martel was in, um, I've heard through the grapevine that they were saying that Chris was kind of looking out for him and not like showing people the house like he should have because he didn't want him to be homeless, I guess. But Martel should have listened to you and Nell when y'all was trying to counsel him and Mel instead of going and going in one ear and out the other one and then down to his damn dick. Okay? That part. Then he wouldn't even need no place to stay because he had a damn mansion. I'll read this last part. Lastly, how would you describe your journey in the business world? My journey in the business world has been a, been one filled with trial and error. Being a female CEO in a male-dominated industry brings in challenges, of course, but also leaping into an industry that I had no prior knowledge or official training made my journey a little tougher from, for mo from most individuals. So this right here, I think I said this in like earlier videos that Martel tried to act like Mel needed him for this, this, and that. I think this part of the business was the only thing that helped her along. That's the only part I feel like he played in this business, the hold and hold enterprises, the hold custom homes, and all of that is him being a man. Like she said, this is a male dominated field. She needed Martel only for show to get into the room. Once they entered that room and established connections and networking, he phased into the black. Then they knew who 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 was who. They knew which hope to call. And they were calling her. He don't really have any contacts from that world. Even when Chris Fletcher was doing the, the deal with the 47 acres. Those buyers requested mail. Not Martel. They had got to the point to where they didn't even want to have Holt on the, the paperwork for the, the name of the complex. But they still wanted to work with Mel. And if Mel wanted to, she could have dissolved Holt and Holt. And she could have came back with just her. With that building, with the builder stuff. And been back on and booming. If that was the field that she wanted to continue in. But it looked like she took her side for entertainment and some of her other passions. But we can't leave her out because we know she got renewed that builder's license, right? We know her and her mom bought all of that land. Now, this girl is the co-owner of a network. What plans she might have for that, all of that can be shown on that show, on her network, on her own network. She can get her a show. She has the fan base. She has the fan base right now to make a show successful. What have we been asking? We want to see real businesses. We want to see real businesses. We want to see real stuff. Not people faking like they at a construction site and they got a project with shovels and pictures. We want or not showing up at a construction site in a fucking two door. With suicide doors. We don't give and, and, and like who, who does that? Somebody that's doing it for a show. 
So that's what we want to see. So if she make this happen on the network that she just purchased. With her fan base already. Jay Bolin was already popping before Mel. But look at him now. Every collection he didn't have were heard and sold out. And I hope y'all got y'all stuff this morning. Okay? She put some pictures up on her website too of the vacation that her and her team was on. She had a little video of her signing the things for the, the team to get massages and everything. Yeah, Kimmy, bourgeois. You could have been there getting a massage too if you would have joined the winning team. And not calling people bougie. But we digress. Okay? She had no official training in this stuff. She just built off what she knew and probably did her research. We know Martel wasn't going to do it because we still questioning if his ass can read or not. And we want to know too, what type of teacher was he? Next time, if I have an interview with Mel, I want to ask her, what kind of teacher was he? And did he quit or did they let him go? Or did they give him the option to resign so they wouldn't fire his ass? Because I'm quite sure when the parents came up for parent teacher conference, the students was like, um, we filled these out ourselves. So you don't even need to talk to him. <laughs> the kids probably was doing their own grades and every damn thing. I cannot. <laughs> She says, however, I was willing to learn all that I could. And I will admit, Google became my best friend. What I just say? Research. Google. It ain't nothing to it but a Google away. Like everything you need is at a Google away. I can recall countless hours at night where I could be up reading and reading and reading some more. Was Martell reading any damn thing? Beside the instructions on the condom package that he still didn't understand. Being outside of, uh, of your comfort zone, I believe, should cause you to tap into your inner super strengths to help you accomplish whatever goals you have set for yourself. I wouldn't trade my journey and my story for anything in the world. Being, a business, being in business has opened many doors for both myself and my husband. That he didn't appreciate. Door is closed. What did he say? The door is closed now. Okay. And has given us a platform to encourage and inspire other young people to be true to their passions and to follow their heart's desire. Again, I'll put this link in the um, description box. But this is Mel back in 2017 in articles about her business and her business arguments. Y'all, like the video. Okay, like the video. Make sure you have liked this damn video. Now, I'm going to put this up on the screen um, so y'all can see. Peggy and Betty. I'm assuming this is from that little dusty group they got. But Peggy called herself putting some woman on display. Okay. I'll download this and cross her name out. But she must have inboxed Peggy. So Peggy post, stay out of my inbox looking like ain't your mama. I know you in line, Peggy. Peggy, you look like a damn bald ego. Peggy looks like one of those, um, y'all know them like them crows on Mad TV. And 
for one, Peggy, you are in no position to be calling anybody ain't your mama. Okay? Two, you wearing that little pink bow shirt. You look like fucking Harriet Tubman in a thought outfit. If Harriet Tubman was going, taking the Underground Railroad to the damn club. That's what you look like. And this lady has this scarf thing on her head. And it looks like, you know, how people tie those things on their head when they have cancer or something. And their hair is gone. That's what this scarf looks like. It doesn't look like she just got a, a, a thing on her uh thing on her head like ain't your mama and even with that scarf on her head she looked better than your ass Peggy I cannot believe Peggy looking like a fucking hound dog and you got the nerve to be with that pitchfork ass nose, you all here calling this lady Aunt your mama? So she posted this. Talking about stay out her inbox. What do you mean stay out her inbox? Block her. You cannot clown anyone, Peggy, looking the way you look. Let's clear that up. Or you shouldn't. We'll say that. Then we got Betty Krueger looking like a damn owl says she needs to get back on that syrup bottle. First of all, Peggy, you a teacher. How? I don't know. I don't know how these people let you teach their students. What people need to do is go on her Instagram page and do the fool on her on that Instagram page where she got them pictures up there with them kids from that school, which I don't think she's supposed to be having up there, and report that to that school. Because not people don't like you. People is always saying negative comments about you and all of this stuff. And you have the nerve to have those kids from that school on your website. I mean, on your page, on Instagram, on social media. Subjecting those people, kids, to scrutiny. You're not supposed to do that. It's like you take a picture with your supervisor at work. They're not supposed to post you on social media with them unless they get your permission. And I doubt if those kids' parents gave her permission to put on her tacky-ass damn Instagram page with her on there looking like a damn Bugs Bunny. So Peggy says to what... Betty Kruger says, ha, 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 ha. That's three laughing faces. She tried with the message about mail. Can you imagine how stupid and idiotic they, these two are? Tweedle fucking D and Tweedle Dom. I mean, you're not even, this ain't no damn read. Post what she said about in the messages so we can have clarification. Elmer Fudd looking ass. Let's do that. What do y'all think about Petty and Beggy? Be Beggy. <laughs> what do y'all think about this? Because both of them crazy and off they sh That's why I don't even know how. And I think Peggy, I think Betty Kruger was a teacher too. 
Y'all done lost y'all damn mind. Who was y'all teaching? Well, we see who, who, who raised Stormy. So, that's enough for Betty. Um, and Martell and Peggy. I just cannot. I just cannot today. So, y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all see that Mel has been that girl from the beginning? Okay? This 2017 article, I'm going to pin it in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and pull up the article and read the whole thing. I didn't read the whole thing. And see what our girl was up to back then. She already has been thinking big. She was already doing big things at 27. Her company was a million dollar company. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So I ain't got nothing else for y'all today. Y'all put your thoughts and everything down in the comments. I'll premiere this video shortly. I got to go get my grandbaby. She a little stalker. And she just want me to take a little. It's to Walmart. To get the damn high ass LOL dolls. So y'all pray for me. Alright. <laughs> and that's all I got for y'all. Y'all like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time y'all. Bye.